Welcome to the channel Book Club. Today's episode is about two iconic men. One is Nigeria's own professor emeritus, master poet, playwright, and literary guru, John Pepe Clark, who turned 80 on Friday, 6th of December 2013, and is therefore being celebrated this week. The other is Dr. Nelson Mandela, the world's most internationally respected leader and role model in the last century, who died on Thursday, 5th of December, 2013. Please join us after this break. You can count probably a dozen or two in whose, in whose pockets the money of this country is by way of the oil, which is not changing the lives, it's not bringing power to my people, it's not bringing water, 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 water everywhere, but not a drop to drink, as the poem goes. It opens with a gate of art. Moves into windows of creativity. She finds the only English word she knows from somewhere hidden in the belly of a four foot nine inch body, and instead of I won't get it, she greets us with bye bye. Branches into rooms of color. <laughs> and ends with a roof of imagination. <laughs> into our house. The pieces all come together at 9.30 p.m. every Saturday. Art House. Life is us. As I felt yesterday, I feel today now, uh, except uh, I now know that age is a, is a creeping disease. It's a creeping a disease that creeps upon all of us. We don't know as it comes. And uh, uh, we pray for it. But my experience of it now is that when it, as it comes, uh, it's full of pains and aches and uh, regret that there are lots of things you can't you were doing before, you know, you find yourself, you can't do anymore. It's a creeping disease. That's the dark side of it. But uh, it also has its joyous sides. You know. have people around you, you've grown up with, and uh, you have brought into the world children. From a wife who's sharing your life with you every day, and uh, the friends you made uh, all along. Uh, Although that again leads to the dark side, you, you find that uh, uh, leaves are <coughs> beginning to fall all around you. Because if you see yourself as a tree, with branches, with leaves, part of it, you know, you are part of all this. And uh, every day you hear somebody's uh, gone, one leaf is dropped. So you begin to wonder when. You are going to drop yourself, you know. So it's all intermixed pleasure and regret. I lived in Ibadan for years. I went to University College Ibadan from 55 to 60. I worked with the late chief AYK at the Ministry of uh, Information for a year or more before Chief Onubanjo invited me to come to the Daily Express as features, edi features editor and editorial writer. So Ibadan, I've always said Ibadan 
That's a special place for me and uh, in, my, in, my, in my life. And uh, after I then I came to Lagos and I spent all my life, about five years. So it's not something that uh, when you see a uh, But, I mean, but I was part of me. In fact, recently, Professor Raji, Remy Raji from Ibadan, uh, said they go to a place at uh, near Premier Hotel in Ibadan. He takes his, you know, his students there. And that's, I was standing there. <laughs> and I saw, <laughs> I saw all of Ibadan, up to Mapo and this uh, Jericho. From there, so I just, you know, I laughed. There was no epiphanic incident like that. It's something that, you know, one day it just sprouted, like uh, I have a plant, you know. Uh, the interesting thing about fire force is that. I didn't meet Wale in Ibaro. The year I entered 55, he got a, a, a scholarship, a Western Nigeria scholarship to go to Leeds. So I didn't meet, I didn't meet uh, uh, Wale as a student in Ibaro. Uh, I just caught the tail end of Kigo. He was reading classics. My brother, my elder uh, brother, Ambassador B.A. Clark. Uh, I think Chris was a year ahead of him. But we were good friends. Uh, as I did later, I failed my exams, my final exams, just as Chris had done earlier, apparently. So he came back for a year. And I saw him from a distance. At a distance, was busy with it. Sir. If I get my timing right, so as for Achebe, as for Achebe, Chinua, Chinua had left, had graduated before I got there. So the four of us, I for one, I was not there together with them really at the same time, but we. We went through the same. We came from government colleges. Uh, Wale from Ibado. Shiwan Okiko from Umahia. I from Ogele. There was a certain something there. Not just for four of us, but for all, all of us, who, all, all, all students who came from. That kind of, uh, uh, who had that kind of experience together.